There we are. That, Chris, that's Chris. Chris has had a face there. That must be close to three pound. Magic. Fucking magic. Let me see. Oh, yes, yes, Kenny. Look, look, look. Oh, Kenny, look. Look, look, it's taking line. It's... Ah, it's on for you. How are we doing, folks? Um, I haven't done a tying video in a, in a quite a long time. So, I'm back on it. Going to do a tying video, please. Um, it's been on high demand. Um, I've had people saying to me all the time, why have you stopped the tying videos? Why you? This isn't a... This isn't a fly tying channel, this is a fishing channel. Um, and I've done the tying videos um, just in order, whenever you get that quiet period and that during the winter and the early season, that was why I've done the tying videos just to, just to keep the channel ticking over. You know, but going to tie a fly fees is even called the Peter Ross Night Spider. Um, it's a sea trout fly. And it was devised by the Welshman Rob Redman. And I spoke to Rob, asked him for the dressing and the fly and that. He gave it to me and I asked him if it was okay if I could do a, a video of it because I really do, I, I really love this fly. And the results that this fly generates is, is unquestionable. It really, really is. So, here we go. Rob, give me the okay. You okay? It? So, I'm going to tie a fees this evening. The hook that I'm tying on is a Partridge Patriot single, size 12. Um, I'm using black Semperfly, size 80, classic wax thread. Um, Color is black, and all I've done there is I've tied on the shingle hook, tied down, and tied on. That's that's natural gold that goes on top of it, and I've tied it on. I've done my excess of a wee taper. I'm going to tie down the taper now, just to keep the body nice and uniform. That'll be important whenever I come to actually apply the body all the flea. and I'm going to pull that tail up. I'm going to put one loop on underneath there, and that's why I just mixed. There we go. And that's your tail sitting perfect. So that's the tail of the fly tied on. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to I'm going to get my super glue. I'm going to put just a wee tiny dab of super glue along the shank of the hook. Just now, don't go overboard with a super glue because you'll regret it once you get further down the fly. Alright, and then I'm going to catch that on there. I'm going to tie it all the way back to the stock of the fly. Skip out your super glue, come to the very top again. There we go. Now, what I've tied on there is a silver holographic tonsil. Um, I'm just going to pinch the tail with my finger and my thumb. I'm going to wrap over it with a holographic tonsil. Come up, just make sure you can't see any of the black thread. And then an overlapping touch and turns. Wind down the shank of the hook with your tonsil, forming the body of your fly. Now, Rob will tie this with silver braid. I didn't have silver braid, so I used holographic silver tonsil and I'm going to stop that just shy of where I've tied on bring my tines all over lock it on and an hour two to three turns just to secure that now before I go any further you'll see that I've left We've got a 5 mil back from the eye of the hook and the reason being guys is because there is a lot going on at the front of this fly hack always and you'll find that out now in just a minute 
before we go any further, I'm just going to wax my thread. You got a wax. And And keeping with the traditional Peter Ross, <coughs> but as a right, well, I this is this is what I'm using, guys. It's Semperfly, and that's it there. Semperfly's red. I see this first oxygen, but it's good. The reason that I like this red so much is because it's got a it's got almost like a sparkle in it. It's almost like a like a red ice. It's great, great stuff. So it is. Semperfly synthetic materials, they, they really are brilliant. And listen, folks, I'm I'm not signed by Semperfly. I'm not a Semperfly pro or anything like that. I was gifted this this stuff from them. They they try it out. And I must say, I really I, I, I do love it. But their stuff is great. There's there's no denying it. So, just wind your thorax on, right? Give me a toothbrush. Tease all that out. Brush it all back. It's almost as if you give them a flea. Red, red legs. See that wee look? Just that one wee look that you put on under that tail just makes it sit perfect. So, just comb that back. There we go. That's lovely. Just let me. Ah, the camera's behaving itself. <laughs> now, the first haggle on this flea is a black spay haggle. You might also know it as a black heron haggle. Um, really long, really, really lengthy, and fiber length. And we are going to use. We're going to use the full feather and I'm going to tie them all up. Now your thread's already waxed from putting your dubbing on, so I'm going to tie this in by the top. Right in front of there. Your wax will give you good grip. Just a couple of turns just to secure it. Come on. Drum that away. Getting the stock or the feather. What I like to do is hold it from the very top. I like to wet my fingers and see as I'm winding this, tease everything back while you're winding it. Now it is, it's a footery feller to work with. Because it's so sparse and so, so lengthy, and as I said, we're going to use the full feller. Oh, 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 nearly a disaster. So as you're winding it, just keep teasing all that back. If you wet your fingers, it helps. It makes it helps it stay back that wee bit easier. Keep putting one turn in front of the other. And you can see that lovely flared spay haggle starting to form. There we go, that's, that looks beautiful. I'll probably put one more turn in now. Use as close to the full feather as you can, folks. Because you need to remember, the black version of this flea, in my opinion, is more the sea trout flea for the river at night time. I'm going to catch that in, pull it away 90 degrees, there we go. And just a couple of turns to secure it. Hi, as I say, the black, using the black spay haggle is more the river sea trout flea. Because that long, see, I'm going, to, I'm going to tidy all this up now. See if you just get your toothbrush, brush all that back. Right, I'm going to pull it, tease it all back with my fingers, and I'm going to wrap back under it. There we go. Now look at that. You can see just how beautifully that flares. You might look at that and you might think it's a bit long, but it's not. Believe you me, it's not. You wouldn't believe the trout that these men are catching on this fly in Wales. Not just Wales, all over the world. This 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 fly has gone worldwide for Rob. 
Um, now, the next haggle is a black hen haggle. Just take, just select the largest black hen haggle from your cape, the largest one. Um, sorry, just a little bit of wax on the thread again. I'm going to tie this in with a stock because I want the longest fibers from the haggle. So I'm going to tie it on with a stock. Just lock it on. Nice couple of nice tight turns to secure it. Come on. Trim away your waist. Right. What I've done is I've even left a couple of the webby fibers at the base of the stock of the fella. I've left them in just for movement. And so that's one full turn. Two full turns of this is plenty. If you leave them webby fibers in, then two full turns is plenty. So that's one and a half round, and that's two full turns. So at that, I'm going to lock that in. One, two, just to secure it. Back in. Trim away your waist. And then again, I'm going to tease all that back, and I'm just going to wind back on it. To now, now, just so you can get that nice flare. Toothbrush again. Just brush everything out. And this, the next tackle is my favourite. We don't often use this as a haggle. We often use this as a wing. And um, that's the teal flank fillers. Nice, lo lovely mark. Uh, again, I'm going to tie this on my top. Before I do so, I'm just going to wax my thread. Again, just for grip. I'm going to expose the top of the feather. Tease it all back like so, and I'm going to catch it in directly in front of that black hen haggle. And just one, two, three. Just and put on another one for good luck. And that's that nice and secure. Come on, locate your excess, trim it away, and then get the stock ear tail filler. And again, I like to wet my two fingers, tease them back while you're wrapping. All right, a couple of turns of this. So that's one full turn, one more. Tease it all back. One directly in front of the other. That's two full turns. Um, I'm going to use one more. So uh, I'm going to put on three. Because what this does is it adds amazing contrast to the fly. And it also gives the fly that spidery look. So that's three full turns. Catch it in. Tease the stock away. Two, three. And this is where you where you really see the benefits of using the wax. Nothing slips, everything stays the way you want it to stay. And I'm just going to tease all that back again. And I'm going to wrap back on it maybe one, two, three, four times. There we go. And again, your toothbrush. Get your toothbrush. Tease all that out. Tease it all out. Underneath, the side, on top. I would usually spin my vice when I'm doing this, but purely just for the camera purposes, I'm not going to do that. Just so as you can see everything that I'm doing. If I start spinning the vice, it'll deviate from the camera. Um, but there we go. So, there we are. Look at that. So, look at you see the movement that this generates. You've got the black, you've got the long spay haggle, you've got the black hen haggle, you've got the soft movement of the teal. It's just the movement and the silhouette that this fly will create in the water is phenomenal. Now, the next bit is an overwing, and I always thought that it was peacock hair that Rob used for the overwing, but it wasn't. What it is, it's actually, if you have a peacock eye, all the softer fibres from the very, from the most northerly point of the eye, that's what Rob uses. And I asked him why he used them, and he explained it to me. 
because they're a lot thinner in diameter plus they're also a lot softer so much softer and it just generates that bit more movement in the fly so what, does, so what I do is I take a bunch of seven and just marry the tips in, keep the tips nice and natural and the length of this I like to go so if you so that's my seven fibres try and get them sitting the way that I want them sitting I like to go just beyond the teal right so if you go just beyond the teal so I'm going to lay that on top of the teal catch it in my finger and my thumb form a pinching loop and pull down on top of it there we go and then just a couple of extra turns just to secure it I mean your threads waxed that's that's not going anywhere it really really isn't so then we can just come in trim away the excess and there we go that's your overwing now wax your thread again um, what we're going to do is we're going to come to the front of the excess here, peacock eyes, and then wind back, forming a nice, neat wee head. There we go. Come forward halfway, and then come back. Anybody that ties salmon fleas will understand that, coming back up the head halfway, and then going back again. It just... The, the, the kind of head that it shapes is really, really lovely. So it is. Um, I do apologise, guys. I, I've, I haven't done it for time videos, I was say, in a long time. And if people message me and I say, oh, boy, why did you stop your time videos? And blah, blah, blah. But it's, it's just it's getting the time to do it. So it, is, it really is getting the time. To, it's getting the time to go fishing. Never mind to do time videos. I like to spend my time doing as much fishing as I possibly can. Uh, and just working full time. Wayne's wife trying to keep a happy household. All the rest. He, he's not a script. He's, he's all do it yourselves. But anyway, the next element of light is jungle cock cheeks. So I'm going to tie one on my side. Yeah. very very small short jungle cock cheeks you want to use on this so I'm going to tie that one in there I'm just going to catch it on one two three turns of suffice I'm going to position it the way I want it coming up the fly at an angle and you'll see it now whenever I do it on your side that one's on my side so I'm going to position one now on your side Match the length of the jungle cock eyes up. There we go, that's around the same length. Like, one, two, three, right? Just check the two eyes, make sure they're in the position that you want them in. Make sure that the length's the same. And whenever you're happy with that, that excess there, I'm just going to tease that back. I'm going to Lock that in. One, two, three, four. Keeping my thread tight, and then you can just pull that away. And that, see those jungle cock, they will never ever pull out if you do that. Never. Bit of waxing the thread again. That's the fly. Essentially finished. And what I'm going to do now is going to form the head. And in my opinion, folks, this is the hardest part of the fly forming the head properly so from the halfway point I'm going to start a few turns I'm going to come back towards me tying back forward again to the halfway point and then back towards your tying materials again and at that point I'm going to get my work finish and tow and I'm going to put four turns of a work finish at the very back of the flea. One, two, three, four. And with a wax, 
There we go. There we are. And what that does, guys, is you can see it there. You can see the outline of it there. It gives you that lovely cone shape head at the front. I'm going to take a dab of super glue. And we're going to coat the head and super glue first of all. Super glue and everything on. And I'm going to let that dry. And once that dries in, I'm going to put on two coats of varnish. But that's it folks. That's the Peter Ross Night Spider. Fantastic sea trout fly. Both at night time. The black version at night time, and if you're fishing your estuaries, then the one tied in grey with a grey hair and hackle. Your best friends in tying this fly, guys, is your wax and your toothbrush. There's no doubt about that. Keep brushing everything out, brushing it all back, getting everything sitting the way you want it. But I, that's Rob Redmond's Peter Ross Night Spider. Just right up my street. Everything about it is right up my street. The length of the hackles, the movement and the fly. Just a little bit stronger. But I, as I say, if you're a sea trout fisherman, then you need to get them tied up. Listen, folks, thanks very much for watching the video. There will be more time videos to come. I promise you that. Um, I don't like just doing time videos for the sake of it. I only like doing videos of flies that catch fish. I said that at the very, very start of the channel. This is a fly that catches fish, no doubt about that. Plenty of salmon fly patterns to come, plenty of wild trout patterns to come. Make no, no mistake about that. But as I say, folks, thanks very much for watching the video. Um, plenty more to come. And until the next time, folks, tight lines.